Welcome to ES4. My name is Stephen Bell, and I'm going to be the professor for this course. ES4 is one of my favorite courses to teach because we start off with some really simple ideas, basics of Boolean logic and some basic circuits, and gradually build up and build up. And by the end of the semester, we're able to build some really cool things. We'll actually get to the point of understanding how a microprocessor works. And in fact, even if you take one route with the final project, you can even build your own functioning microprocessor. Before I get into that and some of why the, I think the content is so useful and so much fun, uh, I'll give you a little bit of an introduction about myself to kind of explain how I even got here and why I'm teaching this course. So I studied computer engineering in undergraduate uh, at Oklahoma Christian University. I picked computer engineering because it was kind of this compromise between electrical engineering and computer science. So like many of you, I was interested um, in computer science, interested in electrical engineering, and sort of wasn't really sure what, what the difference was or which one I would like. Uh, computer engineering seemed like a good compromise, and so I, I picked that. And then after four years of undergraduate, I graduated, got my degree in computer engineering, um, but I had decided that although computer engineering was a great major for me, it, I enjoyed sort of being in between electrical engineering and computer science and got to dabble in some of both of those. The computer engineering itself, like actually designing computers, was super boring and I wanted nothing to do with it. So I went off to grad school at Stanford and so I started studying artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer vision. I wanted to do something in that space. Uh, but I got involved with a group that was doing some work on computational photography, so taking uh, multiple photos or doing other tricks with the, the capture process and then doing image processing on that to get, to get better photos. And it turned out what the group really did uh, behind the scenes was computer architecture. So I ended up spending the next six, seven years of my time at Stanford working with people who were doing basically computer architecture, designing computers, and I, I got sucked into that world. I also spent a couple summers at NVIDIA. Again, at, at NVIDIA, I was doing image processing work, uh, working on video stabilization for cell phone cameras. But NVIDIA is a computer architecture company. So we were kind of off in this little niche, and the rest of the company was doing computer architecture. Uh, this was 2012 and 2013, uh, right before the neural net thing became really big and NVIDIA just jumped on that and ran with it and did, has done, done really well and grown their business, um, become a huge leader in that space. So here I am teaching you how to design computers. I mean, actually, I think the field has changed in a lot of ways and it's gotten a lot more fun. And I'll explain more about that uh, in the next video. So outside of school and academics and work, I'm married. I have two boys who are hilarious and fun and keep my wife and I on our toes. I would like to do just about anything outside. I actually live up in New Hampshire and enjoy skiing or running or biking or hiking in the mountains, swimming, sailing, kayaking, whatever. Um, and I'm happy to chat about those things too. One warning I want to give you about this course. This is only the second time I'm teaching the course. So this is my third year at Tufts. I was on leave last year, so I was involved with the course, but not actually teaching it. And of course, due to pandemic restrictions, this format um, where we have video lectures and mostly readings delivered asynchronously and then have a bunch of these small recitation sections, this format's completely new and we're working it out as we go. So there will be problems with it. Uh, we're doing our best, as you are, and so please be patient. Uh, bear with us as we try to work through this new format and work out the kinks in the course. And do let us know how we can improve. Um, I'm open to feedback, open to changing things, mixing things up. Um, whether we can change everything for this iteration of the course or not is um, depends on what it is. Um, but I definitely always I keep a list of everything that uh, students bring up and could be incorporated into the course in future years. In the next video, I'll talk a little bit about why you might care about this course and why I think computer architecture, um, in contrast to what I thought 
when I was an undergraduate, why this is actually a really cool field and why this could be such an exciting course for you.